Hello everyone and Merry Christmas as it is the 24th of December um, the last number in my Playmobil Back to the Future calendar um, I've tried to put it all on display of what you get and all my other Playmobil Back to the Future stuff so yeah it looks pretty good in my opinion you might think it's a bit rubbish but I like it um, I can't remember who came in what numbered box um, but that doesn't really matter to me um, it's really cool though, you get all these other figures and it's really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what you get in your calendar. So here we go. Um, oh yeah, I do apologise for sounding really bad in this video, it's because I got a cold. Yeah, sucks. So here we have Marty McFly in his, well he's got his sunglasses on, he hasn't got his big red jacket on. Um, he's got his little yellow guitar and his big ginormous amplifier. That's um, Doc Brown made. It's this is a huge sticker on there, and so is this bit. You know, like all controls and that, like switches. Um, so that's Marty and his amplifier. We have his girlfriend Jennifer. He's got like a handbag. Um, she's got the little Save the Clock Tower poster um, that actually has her phone number on the back and the little I Love You bit. So yeah, we have the little Enchantment Under the Sea dance poster at the back there that's on a stand. Um, this is a sticker, obviously. Um, that's pretty cool. We have this silver bench at the back with some books on, um, a rucksack that you can put on a figure, and a poster or picture of uh, Marty in his plutonium radiation suit. Don't really know why. Um, speaking of Marty in his plutonium radiation suit, um, we have Doc Brown in his plutonium radiation suit. Um, I really do love the radiation suit. It looks awesome with the mask and everything. And he's even got his plutonium and the hour time license plate. You can actually hold it, you can see it there. Um, we've got Marty and his yellow one, who's actually got like the funny hair dryer. Um, and his video camera. He's also got the plutonium radiation suit mask. We have the Twin Pines Mall sign, and on the back, for some, for some reason, it says um, Lone Pine Mall. I don't, I don't really, I don't recall seeing that in the movie, but, uh, you know, oh well. Uh, the back there we have Biff Tannen um, chasing, or I put it, chasing Marty McFly in his 1955 outfit with the skateboard um, that he stole off a kid. Um, so yeah, um, it looks pretty good. I like how they give him Biff, like a completely new Playmobil hairstyle. Um, he's got his, his black collar and he's, he's a... Uh, Grey jacket on, which is pretty cool. And Marty looks awesome in his 1955 outfit. Um, that's really... Well, not, actually, that's no, not what you get. <laughs> you can see this ginormous clock tower in the back. Um, you've got these... Uh, these it's all like... it's all When it comes in the calendar, all folded up. So you've got to like unfold it, and uh, you've got to cut it out, fold it up, and it looks like that afterwards. It looks awesome, basically. Um, we have these funny lamps at the bottom. That make it, or they, they they push it through. They push through the bottom, so that looks pretty cool. Um, at the top we have 1955 Doc Brown with his long coat. He's even got a letter that Marty wrote to him about him being shot by terrorists in 1950, 1985. Um, and we've even got it here. I just show you. Um, it's even got writing on, as you can see. Uh, focus, please. Oh, come on, my camera's trying to focus, but it's... Eh. Nope, can't see it. Um, but it does have actual writing on, so you can actually read it. Well, you can try to. Um, yeah, my camera's really not focusing. Oh, well. But there's letters on, you can try and read it. Um, I'm looking for like a magnifying glass, it's so small. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um, at the top there, we also have... The clock tower being struck by lightning, there's a big lightning bolt on the top with the antenna and a bit of rope going down to the street lamp and it's even got this little uh, thing there that you can put on the figure's hand and they can slide down to the bottom and you see we've got these um, telephone posts there, I don't know what that's called uh, with the cable going across and as you can see I've put the DeLorean there with the connecting hook so it's about to make contact with the, with the cable. I'm not good at this stuff. Um, 
And that's kind of all you get in the calendar. Um, it's really, really awesome. I'm so glad I have it. Um, yeah, just to complete, just to complete the set, you know. Um, some other Playmobil Back to the Future stuff I do have is obviously the. Um, oh yeah, also with the calendar, you get this funny 3D printed thing. Um, if you turn it at a certain angle, you can see Marty's brother and sister there. And if you turn it at another angle, they have disappeared. They've been erased from existence. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I love how they've done that. At the back there, you can see I've put um, the 1955 Doc Brown. The only difference between him and the one up there is that that one's got a long coat. He's just wearing a jacket. And he's got his Save the Clock Tower poster. Marty's got his 1955 red guitar that he used to play Johnny Be Good and his suit on. Um, we have 1985 Doc Brown with his remote control and plutonium, and he's also got Einstein uh, with his printed stopwatch on him. And um, I also have these ginormous, these other ginormous figures on here. Um, so we've got Marty with his skateboard. Um, the legs don't move, but the head doesn't move either. But the arms and arms and wrists do. And Doc's also got his a remote control for the DeLorean. So that's it. That's all that comes with the calendar. And thank you for watching this video. And subscribe, please. Thank you for watching.